once more we return to the drive-in. If he's aware of the absurdity of arming oneself with a few sentences and standing against a power that can pierce time itself, he doesn't show it. The man has his share of weaknesses, perhaps more, but cowardice is not among them. <laughs> oh, you got yourself a little plan, do you? Never getting out of this wake, never! Don't worry, I'll take care of your wife and your life! Doing, but I'll send you right back to the beginning.
what? You think whatever it is you're gonna do is gonna make a difference? This'll end up just like before! for a while now, you know? While well, you've been indisposed, stuck in the darkness. I've been busy. I operate in the shadows, not always literally, you understand? I'm a little more resilient than those I've taken, but I do my best work in the dark. Ah. And there's so much darkness out there. It goes deep, and the things that live in it are fast, big bastards. They don't mind getting a little bit of elbow room. All that chaos and madness, it doesn't really do that much down there. It's like pouring a glass of water into the ocean, right? But up here? Yeah, you can really make an impact. All they need is someone to bring them all the way through. But first, I had to take care of you. You party pooper. You're stuck in an eternal cycle now. The sun's never coming up for you. Everything else? Do my thing, get a bit of quality time with Alice. <laughs> That's a little something for me. And I deserve it.
Hello, folks, and welcome to the third part of our pre-recorded interview with Serena Valdivia and renowned photographer Alice Wake. So, uh, tell me about the film. It's called Sunrise, and it really wasn't something I ever thought of as an actual film. It was just footage, things I saw and happened to shoot. It's not a movie. <laughs> Oh, hey. I'm hoping I can put an end to this now. You'd better. I really don't want that to happen to me again. It's like somebody vomited in my brain, like a sleazy movie that keeps looping in my head. I'll stop this, I swear. You know the part that's really screwed up? If you mess it up, it'll just keep happening forever, right? I don't think I can deal with that. Don't think about that. I don't think of anything but. Showing it like this is definitely a new step for me. It's a little weird taking something this intimate and showing it to everybody. Not that the material itself is somehow shocking. It's just that those were private moments. But that's why it works, because it feels genuine. It's not so much a story as it is a sort of an echo, showing us how you saw your husband. Hey, afterwards, story, when all this is done, look me up. This Martin thing, I can probably help you deal with you it. Together, I don't know. It's almost like I'm not even in the same world anymore. Everything's just weird now. Yeah, I know. A lot of that'll pass with time. But being touched by the darkness, it's rough on you. It's a lot to process. And I just don't want you to get completely screwed up by this. Might be a little late for that, to be honest. Yeah, well, there's degrees. At least you're not at a point where you go around picking fights with people over not changing their light bulbs often enough. What? Never mind. All I'm saying is, you're not alone with this. In any way, you're friends with Alice, so, you know, any friend of hers. Thank you. Again, the Champion of Light enters the final trap. The new reality is almost here. All he needs to do is change the details of the scene, push it past the breaking point, and the rest will snap into place.
it? Is it really you? It's really me. How? I love you. I love you. events or merely a dream, a memory or a glimpse of what is to come. One thing is certain. This scene takes place in another time and another place far, far away from Night Springs. <laughs> <laughs> 